Hello everyone and welcome to the Twin Stitches Designs Podcast. My name is Julie and I am the knitwear designer behind Twin Stitches Designs. Today we are Friday, March 12th and I'm coming to you from my home in Canada. I did not plan on podcasting today, but you guys, it was like fate telling me that today a podcast was happening. So I finished this sweater and took some photos for Chantelle of Knititude and um, I put on makeup, which never happens, washed my hair, like this is all like fresh, and the girls are taking a nap. I was just like, this never happens all in a row. This morning, me and my mom brought the girls to the park and they ran around for over an hour. There was nobody at the park and it was just great. So we stayed there as long as they wanted to and then they've been playing nonstop I put on a little TV for them after lunch and they just both passed out on the couch. I was like, I'm washed, my makeup's done, I'm wearing knitwear, and my children are sleeping. Like, you guys, this had to had to come and podcast with you. So, um, you can find me on Instagram and Ravelry as Julia Knitter. I will link everything I talk about down below this video. If you have any questions, um, list them below. I always answer them as soon as I possibly can. Uh, we have a fun Patreon group if you would love to join me over there. It is a lot of fun. We have some knit-alongs and pattern prizes. Um, we have free patterns. So many things um, happening over there. And we currently have a promotion that if you join before the end of March, you'll be entered into an amazing um, prize bundle, which is going to be some yarn and patterns. It's a lot of fun. So definitely check on over, check on over, head on over and check it out. The link is below. I, the room behind you is a little bit different um, if you've been with me before. So I am slowly organizing my craft room. So you will notice that this is brand new, the whole um, unit. And I'm gonna move my chair a little bit and show you guys this box is for another one of these um, bookcases. I decided to buy more bookcases from Ikea to kind of fill up my craft room because it was getting full and I needed to organize things. Um, down here is all my hand dyed yarn. This is actually the only indie dyed yarn that I have. Um, this one is the We Are Knitters that I shared on my Instagram. This one is uh, the collaborations that I currently have. This is all of my bags. This one is my needles. I like keeping them a little bit more up so the girls can't get into it. And these are the, um, all of the giveaways. So that's definitely away from the girls and they can't get to it. And then all the way up here, because it goes one more, is, um, my big box of minis. I am slowly getting there. I'm actually doing a fun vlog, uh, series to kind of reorganize the entire craft room, share with you guys. I'm not sure if I'm going to be sharing that on the YouTube or just Patreon, as kind of a featured uh, monthly video, but I'm hoping tonight the plan is to get this last one done. If I can convince my husband, depending on his day today, <laughs> um, that we can kind of have like a building party. So yeah, so let's get into all of the knitting because that's what you're here for. I am touching and like petting my brand new um, finished object. So this is a test knit that I just finished for Chantelle of Knititude. It is called her Easy Eyelet Yoke Cardigan. She has a sweater version of this, which is absolutely amazing. And um, I test knit the cardigan for her. I knit this out of Knit Picks Twill Worsted. It's right here. And I knit it out of this color, which is Sea Salt Heather. It is 100% superwash merino wool, 149 yards per 100 grams. Absolutely loved working with twill. I actually ordered another sweater quantity because I only have two left of um, the sea salt heather. And I also ordered a sweater quantity of their graphite heather, which is like a dark um, charcoal absolutely love it. It is crazy soft. It blocked out beautifully. So her design is knit top down and you knit these eyelets and then it's just a plain cardigan after that. So get up and show you. Really beautiful. The eyelets are all in the back. Absolutely love it. 
um, twill has a beautiful stitch definition. I think that even if you were to knit like some cables, um, really nice. When she posted the test knit call for this sweater, I immediately signed up because it, it's a staple sweater and I wanted it obviously in a gray because, well, that's what I wear. And um, I just saw myself wearing this around the house um, over my little tank tops or whatever and just having that as a comfy, cozy sweater. It is absolutely amazing. This pattern, I think, comes out April 2nd, if I'm not mistaken. So hop on over to her newsletter um, for this pattern. You're definitely not going to want to miss out. I had mentioned earlier that I was thinking about not knit, uh, designing as many sweaters. Absolutely love test knitting this. It took me about three and a half weeks to knit from the whole thing and um, just really, really loved it. I dis I knit it on a US 10 to meet the gauge. I know that she mentions um, she does hers on a US 9 um, worsted weight. You guys, this knits up so crazy fast. It is amazing. Taking a sip of water. So yeah, I really, really love this. And um, I, like I said, I knit it out of the Nitpicks Twill. Um, if you are looking for a really good affordable um substitution to hand dyed yarn i think that twill is amazing it's 12.99 a skein i think for the 100 grams and has a beautiful twist you see it knits up amazing i decided to wet block this um and i found that it just bloomed beautifully i've i've literally not taken it off since the photos because i just love it honestly that much the last podcast, I said that this sweater was going to be done, and you guys, I did it. I'm so happy. Um, I actually finished the sweater. So I'm really, really happy about that. All right. Um, did I... You guys, I don't know if I would finished that pair of socks on the last podcast. Wait a second. If I already showed these off, I'm sorry, but I don't think that they were finished on the last podcast. I did the one week sock knitting challenge with Denise of Earth Tone Girls, and I designed a pair of socks from Artistic Lily. This is in her colorway Perched on Plum, which I absolutely love. So I knit these socks on 2.25 millimeter needle. The test knit is actually going right now, and this will be um, released on the 24th or 25th of March. It's a really fun, cute cable going on both sides. Absolutely love this. So I actually did cast it on and finish it off in the week. Um, I bound it off Saturday morning. No, no, Friday night I finished it because Saturday was the limit. I really wanted to be done by um, Friday night and I did. So I was so happy. I knit these top down. I did about five and a half inches before the heel, heel flap and gusset, and then um, down the foot. So you guys, I'm really happy um, about these. Like I said, this pattern is going to be coming out um, 24th or the 25th. All right. See, I'm not as organized because, like I said, I wasn't really planning on podcasting. The next pair of socks that is actually already out, I came out with a full um, Bridgerton sock inspired club, which is called the Regency Club. I came out with the first pattern, which is the Duke of Hastings socks. I designed this out of Nitpick Stroll in Pluto, which is a hand painted. Um, absolutely love how it shows off the texture. really nice so it's this fun texture and then with we'll these simple cables on the side two by two rib really love it so there is the the pair um, this pattern you can only grab it right now through the club and uh, the club for the three patterns is $14 Canadian um, and you'll get two more patterns one on the first of April and the other one is the first of May absolutely doing pattern club. I absolutely love doing pattern clubs for you guys. I think it's fun. I think the mystery of it is a lot of fun and I get to play around with um, different yarns and patterns. So absolutely love this. Like I said, this is out right now. If you would love to grab it, um, definitely go in my Ravelry shop and I will link the pattern club down below for you guys. 
So yeah, so we have two, two finished socks. We have a finished sweater and we have more finished objects, you guys. This is crazy. Packed fill episode. The next finished object that I literally just had to do the crown um, was my hat. This one I designed out of Camellia Fiber Company. I designed it with a worsted weight held with a mohair. Um, really fun, simple texture. And then I love this decrease. Really, really pretty. I did a two by two rib and then the texture. I wanted something um, super simple texture that it really shows off the patterning well, uh, or the yarn. So the yarn, um, the worsted weight is Camellia colorway and the lace weight is called Moon Flower. Really, really, really love it. I can try to put it on, but I have um, pins in my hair so it might get caught in it. But this one uh, is going to be coming out early April. Really love how this worked out. It was pretty much done the last podcast, let's be honest. I literally just needed to do the last round and then pull it through. So I made sure I finished this. Ends are woven in the whole thing. And um, the test knit call for this is going to be going up in my Patreon maybe in about a week or two. Um, so yeah, so that is going to be a new design. All right, on to the last finished object. I know you guys, it's packed fill of FOs. I finished my two dishcloths. So if you were with me on the last um, episodes, I was really trying to finish this sweater and focusing on that rather than dishcloths. So I took a break from knitting my dishcloths. Um, I do a year long knit along, which is called Dishy Dimanche. And um, I had not knit on them for two weekends in a row. But this week I picked it back up and I finished. So this colorway is creme brulee and I've already knit, this would be my third one with the creme brulee. And then I finished off and joined in kitchenette. Uh, no, I think this one's sunshine. Sunshine? Sunshine. So this is all dishy. This one is Dishy Multi, and the sunshine looks like this. It is a beautiful, bright yellow. I have not cast on the next one. I have it in my bag, all ready to go. Um, you guys, I even wove in my ends. So I am back on track for my dishcloth knitting. So my plan this year and my goal is to knit one dishcloth a week. Um, if I move here, this is my little pile up to now where I'm going to be adding these two and I just absolutely love it. So if you want to join, I will put a link down below to our Ravelry group if I remember. Um, but if not, then just click uh, the Ravelry group tabs that you see in the link below um, and then search for Dishy Dimanche. It's a lot of fun. You're just knitting dishcloths. It doesn't have to be knit picks. It can be any type of cotton yarn, but it's a lot, a lot of fun. So this is my last FO. Yes. Yes, that's my last FO. I have been working on finishing everything off and it feels amazing. I absolutely love finishing off projects and getting things off my needles. This one was, I finished this about uh, two and a half days ago, but I wet blocked it and it took, the only thing it took forever to block, but because I had to keep it in my room, usually I love um, putting it where our heater is, um, but I didn't want the girls getting after it. So it had to be in my room and it didn't dry as fast as it normally does. But yes, yeah, so this was my biggest focus of finishing this. Um, also finishing the one week sock cowl. I really wanted to get those done. So we're just gonna dive in right into whips. I only have two whips and I can only share with you guys one of them. The other one um, that I can't share is in a bag right here. And it is a uh, brand new yarn that I cannot share anything about. No previews, no pictures, no nothing. So I'm making a project for some brand new yarn um, that is gonna be coming at the end of March. So this is a brand new design project that I'll be having over on my blog. So I'm working on that very secretly, but um, don't worry, you'll get all the information soon. It won't be too, too long before you get all of that info. 
I had asked over on Instagram what you guys, um, what kind of tutorials you wanted to see for socks and what kind of tutorials you wanted to see for me in general. And a lot, a lot, a lot of people had mentioned that they wanted to see some sock tutorials, color work tutorials, different types, how I knit my socks. Um, so I decided to dive in and start knitting up a pair of socks and filming the whole tutorial series for you guys. I already cast on the cuff and started the main color. I am knitting Knit Pick Stroll in Cobblestone Heather. It's just a really nice gray and a 50 gram ball of yarn. Uh, their stroll is 231 yards per 50 grams. Don't know if I have the ball of yarn for... I don't. So, um, I'm knitting this on... Here we go. Knitting this on my Chiago 2.25 millimeter needle. Red lace. Absolutely love it. So the main color of the socks is going to be Haute Knit Yarn, and this is a stash yarn that I've had for um, two years, I think? A year? This is Haute Knit Yarn in Foggy Autumn Morning on her McQueen Silk Sock Base. So it's 80% merino, 20% silk. And this is going to be a pair of socks for my husband. absolutely love it and I found that it went really nicely with the gray. So this is going to be a pair of socks like I said for the sock knitting tutorial. I'm going to be doing multiple different types of tutorials. I already have them all written out. I have um, some of the yarn here, some of the yarns on my way. I'm really excited about it. I've not really dove into tutorials um, but I've been um, asked a lot to do a lot of sock tutorials so this is going to be my first one and the next one is going to be a pair of colorwork socks and I'm really excited about that, to be bringing that to you guys. I'm actually hoping that this tutorial potentially, um, this one is going to be out by the end of the month, for sure. Um, I'm hoping to get the sock actually done by next week, and I'm filming as I go. So that is the first tutorial, and this is the, um, like I said, that secret project, and this one is the only thing that I'm currently working on. Um, yeah, I'm not knitting on anything else, really. Okay, so the things that I received in the mail, the first one is from Yarn Cafe Creations. I am I, I'm doing a collaboration with her. So I have two of her eggnog colorway on her espresso fingering, which is a four ply, 100% superwash merino wool, 437 yards per 100 grams. It's this beautiful neutral with some little specks of like a brown. really beautiful and then I have two of the mohair in the same colorway and this is her 70% ultra fine kid mohair 30% mulberry silk um, 460 yards per 50 grams so I'm gonna be holding these together for a really fun project that I'm excited about I can't wait to get this cast on um, let me just hold up two of them Look at that fuzz. Oh my gosh. It is just showing up so beautifully. Really love it. Really excited about that. And the last thing was an order that I placed. Uh, I love a homespun house yarn. <laughs> and I ordered a little bit more from her that I probably shouldn't have. Um, but I did. And I may have more coming to me don't tell my husband. Um, it's okay. He knows. Um, so it's on, she does a 50 gram mini skein set, which I think is absolutely amazing because you want different types of colors, but you don't sometimes always want hundred grams. Um, and I couldn't afford four full skeins of yarn. So I purchased her one of a kind sugar high sock um, 50 gram set. So it's these four beautiful colorways which are 50 grams each. Now what I'm going to be doing is actually pairing them with some mini skeins that I already have for some socks in the future. So I already actually paired them off and um, so this is the first one. They don't have colorway names. It's the Sugar High set and it's actually currently in her shop right now. 
we have this one, then we have this one. Then I think this, oh, this one is so beautiful. And then the last one is this one. Really, really pretty. So I'm super excited about this. Um, really love it. Excited to make some socks with it. It'll be a while before I do, I think, because I just absolutely love staring at them. <laughs> I ordered um, another 50 gram set uh, from her fudge, because um, I know she has the Sugar High, which is this one, and then she has another one that's like um, pinks. Not 100% sure, but anyways, they're they're in her shop right now. And I just think that it's a great option, especially if you're knitting socks, you don't always use the whole 100 grams. And when you pair a 50 gram with a mini, a 20 gram mini, it is more than enough for a pair of socks for myself, for sure. I just really love her yarn. Absolutely love her yarn. Okay. You guys, I think that's it. That's everything I received and everything I've been knitting and working on. I am just so excited about everything um, that's to come. I can't wait to share more details with you all. Um, but yeah, except for that, like I said, we went to the park this morning. The girls have been doing um, really great. I am excited for this weekend, filming more tutorials. I'm gonna be working on that pair of socks tonight, so hopefully um, this weekend I can film. I'll get to the heels, so I'll film that section. And I'm just having a lot of fun with different um, like I said, things that, that, that are to come. I hope that you guys all have an amazing day. I'm going to leave it there and try to get some work done before the girls wake up. Maybe even edit this podcast and get it up. You never know. Depends on how long I can get them to sleep. Right now they're in my living room um, or the living room and they're both on the couch and then I pushed, we have like a, a, a sectional thing that's in the middle. Ottoman. And I push that so if anybody falls, they'll fall on the ottoman there with like blankets and their babies and pillows. They are all set. So I'm hoping I can get a little bit of work done. It's so early in the day that I don't mind they nap. So wish me luck. And as always, everybody, happy knitting.